video, but I'm not doing a cover this time. I'm still working on some covers that I want to make sure that I have absolutely perfect before I jump into it, but because that's going to take another little while. I wanted to just keep doing drum videos anyway. So in this one I'm going to be doing more of like a setup thing, because I know a lot of people out there have no idea how drums work, what different drums are called, what different things are, they just see someone play and they know, oh, that's drums. There's some people out there who are drummers then, who also just want to know why setups are a certain way. I mean, whenever I used to play drums, I still do. I love watching people set up videos. When you go around and you listen to them talk about their drum kit, and you talk about, and they talk about what pieces are in their drum kit, and I've, I've done that for a long time, and this is a bit different because it's an electric kit, so... I'm gonna, like, go through what's in the kit and why I have it set up the way I do, but I also have another piece of equipment. I have another piece of equipment this time, which is another tom pad. I have another one of these. Uh, this just came out great. Right? I have another one of these to put on here. So I'm going to have four toms. This is a tom, by the way. The ones that go boom boom up here. They, that's what these are called. They're called tom toms. Um, I know, it's a funny name. And then I'm going to put that right here, I think. So then I have four all the way around. I don't know where I'm putting this guy yet. But that's all to be decided, I guess, as we're going through all of this. So it's going to be fun, because I'm trying to get it back to the setup that I used to have. And three tons is fine, but I prefer four. Um, oh wait! I should also mention, there's a bunch of camera angles now. I got some GoPros to try and make the drone videos look a small bit better. I don't know how it looks. These, these are not definite. I even have one on my chest, so you can actually see, like, where my hands are now around the drum kit, you can see stuff from my perspective, and I'm going to try and incorporate that into actual drum cords. I just realized I was wearing this harness, and everyone's like, is he okay? What, what is that on his chest? So, I have one on, on feet, so you can see stuff there, I have one over here, 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 and one on my chest, so hopefully it looks okay. Um, but, I don't know, I, I've watched other people's drum covers and drum videos, and I'm like, oh, that's so amazing looking. So, I'm, I'm just trying out a few things. I'm still very amateur when it comes to it, but... First, let's put this thing on. Because if you can see, I bought this. This is a, a Tom clamp. It's supposed to be like, like one of these. Um, I had to buy another one of these to like mount it on to this rack system, and I bought this one, but it didn't work. I thought it would. The guy in the shop said it would as well, but this is too thick. So, to try and stick this into that hole, that I know, sexual euphemism, it's too big. So this won't actually go in and lock it down, so I had, to, I had to buy another one of the same one, which I thought would take forever to arrive, but apparently Amazon just had them. So I could have had this ages ago, I've done this video ages ago, but I guess the more you know... Oh, tasty. Tasty. Beautiful. I'll just leave it like that. I'll just play the, the kid that high up. <laughs> Does it look okay? I think that's... There's no sound coming out of them yet, by the way. <laughs> that's not turned on. I'm just messing around with them, but... Hmm. I think that looks good. Everything is in where it's supposed to go. I mean, I'm probably gonna switch stuff around eventually because I'm not a hundred percent happy with the way things look over here. Because when it comes to drums, I like to make sure everything looks perfectly symmetrical because that just looks the nicest. Um, so it'll work and I'll be able to play on it, but for now, we'll just go ahead with it. So I need to plug it in. Um, this is Tom 2, and the thing I love about the electric kit is that. It has Tom 1, 2, 3, and 4. It has other inputs that you can assign to whatever you want. You can actually make these the Toms if you want. But what I love is that it has four Toms presets. When you put them in, it puts them in as the proper sizes. Because normally you'd have a 10, 12, 14, 16. Or at least I did. That's the kit that I had and I liked. Um, 
So it's nice that you can just plug something in and now there you go, it's ready to go. Perfect. Oh, I need to plug this one in again. All right, let's actually, I, I changed some stuff around, so. Yeah, so. So ding, dun, dun, dun. So that's how it's supposed to, that's what I'm saying. It does the increments on its own. Cause normally you'd have the drums and you'd have to like go up by two inches to make it actually sound like it's a different pitch. Um, I mean, drums are basically, you can do whatever the hell you want at the end of the day. But I'm just saying what I used to do. This is almost identical to what I had when I was growing up. I had two bass drums though. So now I only have one bass drum and why are you all the way over here? Get back out there. Um, so yeah, oh, it's nice to actually have like the full kit back. Cause now I can, yeah. This is a different one though. Cause this is, that's a Jara 10 ply. Actually, can you see? You can see on the screen, it's a Jara 10 ply. I don't know if you can actually see it. And then if you hit instrument, you can go, see what that is, see what the snare is, see what the bass drum is. So it changes as you're hitting them. So if I do this and try and show you, so I can hit instrument and then hit the tom, and it's a stainless 13 inch drum, which is not what I want, because that's a 10 inch jara. So if we change this to a 10 or a, a 12 inch jara, wherever that is, there. Yeah, now they're all the same. They're all the same drum. And that's a walnut popper snare, as you can see. And I like the sound of that. It sounds really, really good. Because before I had the, the power metal kit, um, just in total, I had the power metal kit. And it sounded okay, the bass drum sounds really good in a power metal kit, but the toms and the snare and everything sounded like ass. Because they were really just like, Bleh. so now, it's a lot of a, it's a much tighter sounding snare. Doesn't ring out as much, it just cracks, and that's what I want. So. Nice! Very good! Oh, this one fell over ages ago. I'll put it back up so you can see feet. It's gonna take me a bit of getting used to because I miss, I did like having the right symbol here. This is the right symbol, by the way, the one that goes. That's a right symbol. Um, and I love about the, this electric kick because you can go. And you can just wash it out. Whereas these, no. You have to pinch these at the edge so you can go and make sure that they stop. But you actually have to do this. You have to grab them pretty hard, which I don't like. Um, so yeah, so snare 10, 12, 14, 16. That's what all these are over here. And they have a nice like boom, boom, boom to them. Um, just regular hi-hats. I think this is the hi-hats that just came on it. The, the symbols on this kit kind of some shit. I don't really like them. Um, but what are, you, what are you gonna do? I might try and import others eventually. And then this over here, I love the sound of this. This is a China symbol. So it has a nice like sound to it. It's really cool. I, I really like that symbol. Um, and then just bass drum, whatever. Oh, I should show as well. The, the pedals I'm using for this kit are Axis pedals. They're Axis longboard pedals. I know that some people were asking about that and had wanted to know what they are. It's just a double pedal. So when I hit over here, you can see that it's hitting over here. When I was younger, I had two bass drums, so it was two single versions of these either side. But double pedals are a nice alternative, and they're, they're also cheaper than having to get two single bass drums. So, if any of you are out there playing drums and you want to get a double pedal, some of them are really damn good. But sometimes it comes into problems when this one doesn't feel the same as the right one. So, whenever that happens, then it's. I'm sorry, the fucking symbol is blocking my face now. It's kind of hard to get one that feels the same either side. Because this one usually feels a lot weaker and a lot looser and stuff like that. So it doesn't, you're not playing the same on both feet. But this pedal is really good. This is one of the pedals that I wanted to get when I was drumming myself. But they didn't ship to where I was and I couldn't afford it at the time. 
And I really wanted to try them out because this is the pedal that all the like really fast drummers were using. Um, and I, I fucking love it. It's so good! <laughs> So if you know what if you know what that beat was, you know what the next cover I want to do is. And then another one is It's not perfect yet, but it's there! I'm getting there! know the beats perfectly. That's why I did Chop Suey first because it wasn't that hard a song. I knew it already kind of. I sort of remembered it from when I was playing drums ages ago. So I just thought I'd go into it and like luckily enough I knew it. Took a couple of takes but I, I had it down and the next one I want to do there's a part at the end 
That's really fucking hard, so I'm trying my best to, to get that done, but I also don't have a lot of time to sit and practice all the time because YouTube stuff, but it's so much fun. I, I like I never sweat ever. If I go running and come back home, I just get all red and splotchy and rashy and I just look horrible. But when I play drums, I sweat and I sweat a lot. It's crazy. Man, I love it and I miss it. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face! Like a boss! And likewise all around. Thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes!